The college football playoff committee is making us rethink the way we think, and it's got everybody all up in arms. Thankfully, after Florida State's latest close call this past Saturday, Jimbo Fisher reminded us of the way we're used to thinking. We're undefeated. We finish every game. Everybody else in the country has not finished at least one game. We finished every one of them. Now, tactically, Jimbo is right. The Knowles are the lone undefeated in the Power Five, but that goose egg in the loss column isn't the be-all end-all, apparently, when you stack it up against something called game control. Loose translation, the committee wants to see prolonged domination of your opponent relative to the quality of said opponent, not last-minute eke-outs to lesser teams. FSUs had to rally from six halftime deficits. Oregon, on the other hand, is at an average margin of victory of about 25 points a game, and Marcus Mariota spent more time in the fourth quarter holding a clipboard than a football. Point two, the Ducks. Another factor in trumping wins and losses, progress. Let's take Ohio State. The committee has seemingly given the Buckeyes a pass for that week to abomination against Virginia Tech because young JT Barrett and his line have evolved and gotten the best of Michigan State. UCLA, back-to-back -back losses to Oregon and Utah, but Brett Hundley and the defense have come alive. The Bruins have knocked off Arizona and USC, and they vaulted from 22 to 9 in the rankings and could move up again this week. And how about the way we've always emphasized head-to-head, -head, right? Baylor beats TCU. So what, says the committee, the Frogs bested West Virginia and Morgantown, where Baylor lost, and TCU has a stronger non-conference resume. If both teams were on the table, really the only way Baylor would get the edge is if they pounded their remaining opponents more than TCU does. A tall order, considering Baylor's last regular season opponent, K-State, suffered a three-touchdown flogging by the Frogs. You know why we're all up in arms, folks? Here's the reality. We hate change, even though that's exactly what we talked about during the BCS era. We want to think the way we're used to thinking, and we think it stinks that we can't. But you know what? We got a bunch of really smart people, coaches, athletic directors, people who know what they're looking for on tape, grinding down every single game to a fine powder. And that's a problem. Why? Look, the committee said from day one, it's seeking the best four teams for the playoff, not the most deserving. And finally, we're starting to figure out what that means. It means there's not one, but two Rices in the committee's conference room, Condi and the ghost of Grantland, the famous sports writer who once penned the quote, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game.